Hello, it is Jacinta Mpali and Kana, and in this week's video, we are going to deal with a very interesting issue, which is your underlying story about money. Now, we are going to use the magic of tools of EFT. EFT is the Emotional Freedom Technique, and it works by tapping on the meridian points. The meridian points are like the switches that connect to the meridian system, the energetic system, invisible energetic system that attaches all the organs in your body and it helps the smooth operation of your internal system. You know, so EFT has been proven scientifically to help people achieve emotional freedom. I'm also going to use Hoponopono. Hoponopono is a Hawaiian healing technique that was discovered maybe in the 80s and it really is so freaking powerful. Like, I mean, I really can't go into the details about what it works, but I'll be using the four statements that have been known to help people get in touch with their unconscious mind, you know, their child, their inner child, and release those negative stories and negative emotions or karma or whatever that are holding them back from living life on their dreams and moving forward progressively towards achieving their goals in life. So without further ado, we are going to deal with the negative story. A negative story about money could be, you know, money doesn't like me and we never grew up having money and money rejects me and money is hard to get. So me and money have a problem. So money, money is for black people, money is for white people or money is for tall people, money is for rappers. Whatever story you have prominent in your mind about money, that is what we're going to deal with. But I'm going to come up with a generalized structure that you can tune in. Also tuning into your own issues. Tap along with me, and although the statements I use might not resonate with you, trust me that if you can tune in and follow the instructions as we tap along, you'll be able to feel a sense of, re of relief, and as a result, you'll be able to be inspired to see things that you haven't been seeing, but have been around you, to have clarity about which actions you can take in order to attract money. So without further ado, let's get started by tapping on the current current teacher point. <clears throat> I have this negative story about money. Tap with me. All these negative stories about money that corrupt my mind and make me believe that money is hard to get. Money is scarce. Money hates me. Money is for other people who don't look like me. <laughs> Money is only for people in other professions. I didn't grow up with money. We didn't grow up with money. Even then, even if I have all these negative emotions and stories, I deeply and completely love, accept, forgive myself and everyone else involved. Even though I have really horrible negative stories regarding money, I believe that money doesn't like me. And when I go east, it goes west. Everything I do doesn't really produce the results that I want. I take action upon action and money just seems to reject me. Even then, I love, accept, forgive myself and everyone else involved. Even though my relationship with money is corrupt and I now believe that because I was brought up in a poor neighborhood, that is my story. My parents were poor. My great grandfather were poor. Was poor. And I also had stories that people in my clan or in my tribe or everyone in my family was poor and continues to be really living a poverty driven life. That's okay. I'm doing the best I can. Now take a deep breath right here. 
So those statements might have covered some of the stories that go in your mind prominently. I don't know. I'm just coming up with stories that I hear my clients telling me consistently. But even if you didn't hear anything that relates to you, just tune into your own negative story. Or you may want to pause this video and ask yourself this question. What are my negative stories about money? What are my negative beliefs about money? What do I believe money to be to me? You know, how, what is the relationship between me and money? So write down those and as we tap, tune into your reasons. Okay, so the next round is we are going to release the resistance and kind of like um, vent towards our stories, uh, vent out our stories about money. Okay, all right. So, hmm. So well, I hear that my family was really broke. And this story lingers on in my mind. And it seems to be manifesting in my reality. I never really have money. I'm always looking for money. <laughs> It seems like I go east and it goes west. Mm, evidently, money rejects me. I have a hate relationship with money. I think it's my dad. Because he never really had money. You know, maybe it's my clan, my family. No one really had money. Who is me to make money anyway? Money is for those who work in Hollywood. Everything I do doesn't work out. Money rejects me. I'm beginning to hate money. Let money go to hell. So what if I don't have it? I'm beginning to let it go. Now take a deep breath right here. Now that process was intended to help you come face to face with this story, some of the stories about money. And you know, when you come straight face to face with something, instead of resisting it and say your truth about it, your attachment to it, you know, your, your conflict with it relaxes. It's like you're no longer resisting it. You're facing it and your fears towards it you know, really are relieved, they are softened. So in the next round, we are now going to question our choices regarding these negative stories and then instill new stories that will help us and promote us towards being inspired to really make money. Because let me tell you, once you create a positive relationship with money, once you know that money wants you as much as you want it, once you know that you deserve to have money because your self-worth and your value are, are, heightened, are heightened, then there is no reason why you wouldn't get money. And once you do that inner work, once you get inside your inner world, the whole of it, and identify all these negative emotions that are holding you back and your negative stories or whatever other negative negative blockages or energetic blockages that are standing in between you and manifesting money. And then you start creating these clear visual images of the things that you will do with money. I guarantee you that you will start attracting money and it will flow to you easily and effortlessly through expected and unexpected sources. So let's get started to the next and last round. There's negative stories about money. I choose to let them go. I choose to create my own positive stories about money. I choose to create my own life. I choose to be an individual when it comes to money. I choose to be open to all the ways that money can flow to me. I now release all those negative blockages within me and all those negative memories and all those negative stories that prevent me from money, attracting money. I now release my grip on scarcity. I release my grip on all these negative blockages within me. 
and negative stories that prevent me from attracting or being inspired or being clear about the type of action that will connect me to money. I choose to change my stories about money. I choose to attract money easily and effortlessly through expected and unexpected places and sources. I choose to money to come to me in checks, bank transfers, debit payments, cash, mutual funds, properties. I am so excited about these, possibil these possibilities. Dear my inner child, I'm sorry for all these negative emotions and negative emo memories that I have believed to be the truth that I have instilled in you that have created this manifestation of poverty in my reality. Please forgive me Please let go of all these negative emotions and stories. I love you. And I thank you. And I seal this process with divine love and wisdom. Perfect. So take a deep breath right here. Great job. Now, if you still feel a sense of, you know, uneasiness and a sense of sadness, because when you tap, other emotions pop up, you know, come under the surface. There are emotions like sadness or regret or guilt or other stories that you probably even forgot about. Go through this process again and again and again. I mean, if you do the work, if you're so sick and tired of being broke, if you do the work, I guarantee you that your system will open up. Your brain will start scanning for ways that can bring you in money. You know, your energy will be uplifted. Your vibration will be raised whereby you and money are in sync. And your relationship with money is better. And then you'll be able to attract ways and means in which you can attract money. Okay? Now, I know this is going to help you if you tune in and really do the work. Now, I have a seminar coming up next year, 2018, February the 10th. It's a four-day seminar where we're going to go deep, dive deeper to identify the root causes of all our issues regarding money, regarding poverty, regarding, you know, attracting love, regarding our drive, our karma, our energy, our lack factors, you know, our creative um, gauge. And if you want to know more about this event, the link is somewhere here below. I invite you to sign up for the event and take full advantage and take advantage of the early bird fee. And if you sign up, I guarantee that you are going to get a lot of benefits that are going to help you release all the negativity in your life, let go of all the negative stories and start living life on your terms. Now in the interim, I hope you have an amazing holiday season with your family and I'm sending you God's love and light. Mwah.